Brooks Nader's solo appearance at Michael Rubin's pre-4th of July party amid new romance with Prince Constantine Alexios. Brooks Nader, a prominent Sports Illustrated model, attended Michael Rubin's pre-4th of July party in the Hamptons without her recently revealed boyfriend, Prince Constantine Alexios of Greece and Denmark. This event marks a significant moment in Nader's public life, juxtaposing her high-profile social engagements with her evolving personal relationships. Nader's solo appearance at Rubin's pre-party is noteworthy given the recent public revelation of her romance with Prince Constantine Alexios. Despite the anticipation surrounding their new relationship, Nader arrived alone, donning an elegant frilly sundress with a high slit, complemented by a matching beacon bag and strappy heels. Her choice of attire was in line with the event's white theme, showcasing her impeccable sense of style. The pre-party, hosted by Fanatics founder Michael Rubin, is known for its star-studded guest list, which this year included celebrities such as Travis Scott, Quavo, French Montana, Winnie Harlow, and Robert Kraft. The absence of Prince Constantine Alexios, despite the high-profile nature of the event, raises questions about the dynamics of their relationship and the prince's engagement in Nader's social circles. Nader's solo attendance and her relationship with Prince Constantine Alexios have garnered significant public interest. The couple's debut at Olivia Culpo and Christian McCaffrey's wedding, where they were seen hand in hand and displaying affectionate gestures, marked the beginning of their public romance. This has naturally led to heightened scrutiny and speculation about their relationship dynamics. The public's reaction to Nader's appearance without Alexios is mixed. Some appreciate her independence and ability to shine on her own, while others are curious about the prince's absence and what it might imply about their relationship's status. Nader's sartorial choices for Rubin's party and previous public appearances reflect her status as a fashion icon. At the pre-party, her low-cut white dress and pointed toe sandals were both stylish and thematically appropriate. In contrast, during the wedding of Culpo and McCaffrey, she wore a strapless navy blue sequined gown with cutouts, demonstrating versatility and a keen fashion sense. These outfits not only highlight her personal style, but also her capability to adapt to different social contexts while maintaining a sense of elegance and poise. Her fashion choices are meticulously curated to align with the event's theme and her public image, reinforcing her status as a style influencer. Nader's presence at high-profile events and her relationship with a royal figure underscore the intersection of celebrity culture and aristocratic lineage. This relationship brings together different spheres of influence, potentially broadening Nader's appeal and reach. However, it also places her under greater scrutiny, with the public and media closely monitoring her personal life and relationships. The timing of Nader's new relationship, coming shortly after her divorce from Billy Hare, adds another layer to the narrative. The amicable split and her subsequent time spent in the Hamptons suggest a period of personal transition. Her quick transition from loving single life to a new romantic relationship with Prince Constantine Alexios reflects the fluid and often unpredictable nature of personal relationships within the public eye. While Nader's ability to navigate her personal and professional life in the public eye is commendable, it also exposes the pressures and expectations placed on individuals in the spotlight. The constant scrutiny and speculation about her relationships can be invasive, potentially affecting her personal well-being. Moreover, the focus on her romantic life, particularly in relation to a royal figure, can overshadow her professional achievements and contributions to the fashion industry. The media's emphasis on her relationships rather than her career highlights a broader issue within celebrity journalism, where personal lives often take precedence over professional accomplishments. Brooks Nader's solo appearance at Michael Rubin's pre-4th of July party, amid her budding relationship with Prince Constantine Alexios, offers a glimpse into the complexities of managing personal and professional identities in the public eye. Her fashion choices and social engagements reflect her status as a style icon, while her evolving personal relationships continue to captivate public interest. However, 
The constant scrutiny and emphasis on her romantic life underscore the challenges faced by celebrities in balancing public perception with personal realities. As Nader continues to navigate her high-profile life, it remains to be seen how she will manage the interplay between her personal relationships and professional endeavors.